Hey, kangaroo and bunny kids. It's Miss Allie, and I am back with another fun art activity for us. So, for this art activity, we are going to paint with ice. Before we get to the painting part, we have a few steps that we have to do first. So, need a couple things for this project. Some food color, whatever kind you have. Ice cube tray. Some water and some popsicle sticks. Any size will do. I've got some big, some small. I think there's big ones in your kit, so whatever you have. First step we're gonna do is fill our tray with water. You can fill it up pretty full. You don't want it to be overflowing because we don't want them to be running into each other. So make sure, I'm gonna pour a little out. Make sure they're not too, too full so that your ice cubes don't touch. All right, next, we're gonna take our food color and put just one little dot in all. So I've got some green first, put some green in that one. Then I think I'll turn my middle ones blue. And I have some yellow. So I think for my last ones, I'll turn them yellow. Just one drop in each is all you need. Next, take a popsicle stick and use it to swirl those colors in. Be careful when you do this. You don't want it to be splashing all over because it is food dye. So you're gonna want an adult help to do this really carefully. If you use the same stick, just be careful because your colors might mix together a little bit. Now you can see I have this really pretty tray of colors. So next step is to stick a popsicle stick in each of your trays. It doesn't have to be standing up perfectly straight. If you want it to, a good idea is to put rubber bands across. That way you can rest your sticks on it and they will stand perfectly up. But if they're in there a little tilted, that's gonna work just fine. Another trick is to break your stick in half if you're running out and put them in that way. You can do that with the big ones too. It's okay if they're a little broken on the end, just stick them right on in. So we're gonna do this for the rest of our colors here. Stick in some sticks. Make sure they all have one because that's what you're gonna use as your handle to paint. All right. Now I've got sticks in all of these. With an adult's help, take your tray and I'm gonna bring mine over to my freezer and let them sit overnight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow once our tray is all frozen. Hey, kangaroo and bunny kids, it's Miss Allie, and I am back to finish our ice cube painting activity. So I just got my ice cubes out of my freezer. You can see they're all hardened in beautiful colors in there. Got my greens and my blues and my yellows. You should be able to just slightly lift up on your popsicle sticks and they will come out. You have these little ice cubes stuck to your popsicle stick. If they aren't coming out, all you need to do is take a little bit of hot water and slightly run it across the bottom. Just be careful as it'll make the ice cubes melt a little bit too. So for this activity, I like to put something down under my paper because it does get a little wet or you can do this outside, but just know it might get a little messy. So. Now it's time to have some fun. You can create whatever you want with your trays. This is the fun part. Take one of your colors and put it on your paper and start to paint. It might take a minute for your ice cube to get unmelted or to start melting, I'm sorry. So just give it some time because as it gets warm, the color will come out even more. You can see my green is starting to come on my paper. For this one, I'm just gonna make any design I feel like, try and get used to the feel. So maybe I wanna add a little blue now. Ooh, the blue is very pretty. 
These colors remind me of the ocean. So you can design whatever you want. Have fun with your little ice frozen ice cubes. Let's see. I'm just gonna keep swirling it together. It makes me think of going swimming at the beach. All the pretty blues and greens. Whoa! You can see them sliding around the page as part of the fun of this activity. All right, what about some yellow? Let's see if the yellow shows up. Yellow's a little bit harder to see, but I think once we warm it up a little bit, the color will start to come off. There we go. Sometimes they just need to get a little melty before the color really starts to show. So I might run this one under a little warm water, get the colors going here. And if your paper gets a little wet, that's all right. You're gonna leave these outside to dry anyway. Because sometimes once your ice cubes start melting, paper gets really wet. So, you can see for this page, I just put my colors all over in any kind of pattern that I wanted. You can do that. Or maybe you want to make like a certain scene. So, my colors, I think I could make a pretty outdoor scene. So, maybe I want some grass on the bottom with my green. Give myself some grass here. Grass on the bottom, and then maybe I want some flowers, so I'll do some stems. Draw some stems going out with my green paint, and then maybe I want to do some yellow for the tops of my flowers. You can really create whatever comes to mind. It doesn't have to be a certain thing. Like you saw in my list when I just did some random designs. Maybe if it's not coming out as good, I want to use my hands a little bit because that's always fun. Get in there and explore with all your colors. And maybe I want to add a sun in my corner because it's a nice sunny day. The yellow is a little bit harder to see. So maybe when you're making your ice cubes, you want to use some darker colors like reds or purples. It's really whatever you have and what other colors you enjoy. And then maybe I want to add some sky in the background, some clouds. Let's see, there we go. So it is good to give these a little time to melt. The little bit meltier they are, the easier it will be for you to paint. Sometimes when they're too frozen, it makes painting really hard. So take your time and be patient. Let them melt a little bit. So I used my colors to make some clouds and a sun and some flowers. I'll set this outside and let it dry and see what my amazing creation looks like. So, I hope you guys have a blast using your ice cube tray well, uh, as painting. This is a really fun way to play with water and create art. I hope you guys have a good time. Can't wait to see all the awesome creations you come up with. See you soon, guys.